Cellcom and DG are headed for a merger which would create Malaysia's largest telco provider. Ambank seeks to raise funds after being hit with a 2.8 billion ringgit settlement. Credit Suisse has emerged as the biggest loser from the Archigos fire sale and Southeast Asian tech unicorn grab is heading for a listing in New York. Cellcom and DG may soon merge into Malaysia's largest wireless phone network. The deal is not yet final, but the network owners, Axia Group and Telenor, are in advanced talks. What we know so far is that the combined entity will be called Cellcom DG and remain listed on Bursa Malaysia. As part of the exercise, newly issued shares in DG, amounting to 33.1% of post-transaction shareholding, will go to Axiata, which is valued at approximately 2 billion ringgit. Of this, some 300 million ringgit cash will be paid by Telenor, while the balance of 1.7 billion ringgit will come from DG in the form of new debt. Both Axiata and Telenor will have equal ownership at 33%, with each party entitled to nominate three board directors. Axiata also has the right to appoint the chairman and CEO. But as with any merger, the key question here is, what are the synergies? Well, there should be cost optimizing from operating leverage and effective capital expenditure as 5G is rolled out. The other may be on the data front, as a larger base should provide better opportunities for monetization while they can share the telco spectrum. However, will Will the deal materialize? Axeda and Talanor had merger talks as recently as 2019, but discussions previously broke down over complexities of the deal which involved all their respective Asian assets. When the markets opened following the news, Axeda was up 3% and DG jumped around 16%. Ambank announced a private placement to raise 810 million ringgit. The exercise will involve the issuance of 300 million new shares at 2 ringgit and 75 cent a piece. That's just over a 7% discount to its five-day volume-weighted average as of April 2nd. A share placement is a rare move for banks, but is a quicker way for Mbank to raise fresh capital. Recall that in February, Mbank reached a 2.8 billion ringgit settlement with the Malaysian government over its involvement in the 1MDB corruption scandal. The placement will result in earnings dilution for existing shareholders, but helps restore the bank's common equity tier 1 ratio close to its target of 11.5% by the first quarter of 2022. Mbank stock is up 4% on a one-month basis. In the aftermath of the Archigos fire sale last week, Credit Suisse has emerged as the investment bank that took the biggest hit. The Swiss bank revealed that it will lose nearly 5 billion US dollars and remove two top executives, its investment bank chief Brian Chin and chief risk officer Lara Warner. However, Credit Suisse did say it had enough capital buffers to meet its regulatory requirements and that there was no sign its problems may cause a contagion. The bank's reputation is now suffering the repercussions of not just the Archigos frenzy, but also its ties to the collapse of Greensill Capital, which was involved in some highly risky lending practices. Credit Suisse shares are down about 15% year-to-date and underperformer considering that the MSCI World Bank Index is up to close to 20% in the same period. Grab is slated to go public on the New York Stock Exchange via a SPAC merger. The deal would reportedly value the super app at $35 billion. US dollars. The announcement comes amidst a boom for SPACs, blank check companies which have the sole purpose of raising money to acquire a target firm within a couple of years. A SPAC is a quicker route to listing since the disclosure requirements are lower than a traditional IPO, but this might on the flip side deter some institutional investors. Regardless, the next question on everyone's minds is how will this Southeast Asian unicorn do on its debut? Will it soar or will it share the same fate as Deliveroo, another eagerly awaited technology listing which dropped by 30% on the first day of trading. And of course, how soon will other unicorns in the region like Gojek and Tokopedia follow in Grab's footsteps? We'll just have to wait and see. And that's what's been moving markets. Like and follow us at BFM Radio to catch us every Friday for top business and finance stories.